You're welcome to Marketing Edge on TV, Nigeria's leading initiative in the business of brand management and the management of brand business. It is a 30-minute potpourri of brand news, brand in focus, industry conversation, and all of this in a mix aimed at promoting the brand idea. My name is Deli Agadumo. It's insightful. It's exciting. It's enriching. It's Marketing Edge on TV, a half-hour TV show on the business of brand management and the management of brand business. Marketing Edge on TV is a potpourri of juicy and exclusive industry news on brands, advertising, media, PR, brand and focus, industry conversation, and the entire gamut of integrated marketing communications business. It's a business show with glamour and grandeur. We serve you hot and sizzling with all ingredients in the mix. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand ideal. The Outcon year 2020 was a year that truly was. It was a year of great expectations, what later turned out an epoch of monumental frustrations and tragedies for the entire humanity. The year's malevolent touched aspects and ramifications of humanity in no small measures and in most cases, grievous consequences. For a fact, the Nigerian marketing and advertising ecosystem was not left out of the debacle and the beta tricks which the dreaded year played on humanity. Like other parts of the world and of course all other sectors of the national economies, the marketing, advertising and indeed brand communications service sectors witnessed its own fair share of the tides and turbulence. With it heralded a new coinage in the popular cliché of the new normal. The year also represented a mixed bag of blessings and opportunities, challenges and failures. While some brands and products witnessed rising fortunes, others were not as lucky. Same goes for corporate brands, agencies and businesses generally. It was a year that will forever remain a watershed in the annals of marketing and marketing communication sector for ages to come. In this episode of Marketing Edge on TV, we have profiled a potpourri of events, activities and developments that shaped and defined a year like never before. Enjoy the ride as we race through the peculiar year 2020 in review. Jane Madwebuna is a trained lawyer and creative content enthusiast who is currently adventuring within the world of apps, entertainment, content and mobile distribution platform via the www.afrinolicreativehub.com. You're welcome to Marketing Edge on TV. Thank you for having me. <laughs> now, how will you assess the Nigerian creative industry? Well, for me, I think we are way better than we were years back and we seem to have this voracious capacity to do better mm. you know especially with the influx of you know um creatives who have schooled abroad coming in bringing best practices mm -hmm. within the ecosystem and partnering up with the up and coming creatives, creatives. within the system and you know because we have the story mm -hmm. they are coming with the best practices for shoots and all that. Partnering together, we seem to have experienced an explosion of better cinematography, uh, better sound, you know, mm -hmm. helping to engage the stories we have already on ground. So I, my assessment is we are amazing and we have a capacity to even be equally more amazing. Would you say that the Nigerian marketing and brand advertising sector is ripe and mature to sustain talent's growth in the sector? I think our time is here. That is what I will say. Okay. Um, we still have a little more to learn, but I think, and I believe where I will stop at is that I believe we're at the right time and at the right place to actually take over. Now, can you tell us how you have fared amongst the global pandemic in terms of the positively projecting uh, your organization's offerings to the world? Oh my God. Um, and I say this with all humility, you know. Um, I was talking to somebody the other day, and I and, and I said them 
there must be a special love God has for us because mm. in the midst of a lot of um, challenges within the COVID, we found ourselves super busy mm. uh, with strategic partnership, with um, a project we had on hand, of course, was delayed by COVID. But we found businesses springing up from left, right, center. And it was really amazing and exciting to behold because in the midst of trouble, we were flourishing. And I can just say thank God, that's all I can say. First of all, I know this sounds cliche, but I'm so grateful to Marketing Edge for what they've been doing, you know, and how they've been helping to um, push, you know, certain uh, brands and personality forward. I mean, because of this appreciation, I'm glad that you took, you know, a closer look into the industry and you thought I was worthy of this. And I just want to say thank you. Um, I hope that I can uh, make you proud of this award, for this award. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to share for this, by the way. Thank you. All right, we have been speaking with Jane Madre Guna, a trained lawyer and creative content enthusiast on industry conversation on Marketing Edge on TV. Dear customer, link your Airtel number to your national identification number today. Here are easy ways you can do it. Dial star 121 star 1 hash on your Airtel line and follow the prompts on the screen. Type in your 11-digit government-approved NIN number. You will receive a confirmation message to confirm your entry. You can also visit www.etl.com.ng forward slash NIN to link your phone number to your NIN. If you do not know your NIN, simply dial star 346 hash to get it. No stress, no wahala. Airtel, the smartphone network. While the city slept, we installed a board in the middle of a park with something special hidden inside. We wondered if people would notice. They didn't, so we invited Nigerians to add their paws to the scene whichever way they chose to. Some literally added their own paws. Some sang, others rapped and even recited poetry. As they added their poles, the board came alive. Hidden figures broke free from obscurity, inspired by the crowd expressing themselves. You know you can do anything. Because why blend in when you can stand out? MTN Pauls, do you? Dow star 406 hash to join. Chike Madreguna is an entrepreneur, founder, CEO of Afrinoli Nigeria Limited. Afrinoli Nigeria Limited was incorporated on 7th July 2015 to take over all businesses of Fans Connect Online Limited, including Afrinoli App that won Google's Android Developers Challenge for Sub-Saharan Africa in September 2011. You're welcome to Industry Conversation on Marketing Edge. What would you say are the major challenges of growth and development in the small and medium scale enterprises sector? I, I guess the biggest uh, challenge to, to that growth is actually our ability to handle big jobs. Okay. You know, um, there are jobs that when you do, it, it, it gets your name out there, it gets your ability out there, it gets your capability out there. If you don't have those jobs, you're forever, you know, just there. And, 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 I, and I think it's, it's high time the creative professionals in Nigeria are given the ability to actually showcase what they're capable of doing. Um, uh, we've learned, there's a lot of people in the industry that have been learning over the last 10, 15 years. I think we should give them the opportunity to actually showcase their their skills. And do you think Nigeria's film, fashion, and music industry will ever be the same with the new normal? <laughs> <laughs> it will never. As a matter of fact, um, anybody that wanted to go back to normal is probably left behind. Mm. This ship has sailed. The train is off the station. The flight is airborne. 
there's really nothing anybody can do about it. We gotta innovate our way through. We gotta get aggressive. We gotta, we gotta, you know, if there's anything we are doing in our, in Africa now, it's actually how to, how to move Pan African, because there are no boundaries anymore. It's not technology dream. So let's. What are we waiting to finish Nigeria? Once we finish MTN Yellow Stars, I swear, all our, all our movement is heading into the I mean, with Pan African, and then because it's basically Nigeria is the biggest uh, country in Africa. Mm -hmm. So if you have handled a challenge in Nigeria, I don't see where I can handle that challenge anymore. So it's about scaling up. So yeah, it, it will never be the same. I'll expect uh, I mean, people who understand this to really latch on and move. And I beg those who want to bring others back when they are moving to slow down and think carefully to know that uh, I mean, it's not in our best interest to want to go back to the status uh, quo. There are opportunities that if we had carefully looked into as a result of this coronavirus and the times we spent, we'll ask ourselves, why do we want to go back? Do you understand? You know, and, and those are the, the, the things I'm hoping that we can achieve. Well, I want to say a big thank you to you again for being a part of the program. Thank you for having me. I'm very thank grateful. You so much. This week, our guest is Femi Adelusi. Femi Adelusi is the president of the Media Independence Practitioners Association of Nigeria, MIPAN the umbrella body for all specialist media advertising agencies in Nigeria. He is also the founder and group chief executive officer of Brand Eye Media Plus, a leading full-service media planning, buying and optimization agency based in Lagos. How would you trace your journey uh, to being the president of MIPAN? Um, my journey with, with the association um, actually started about four years ago. Um, because I was also part of the, of the last executive. I was a vice president and I had the privilege of working with Dr. Ken, um, who led the, the EXCO at that time. So I think my coming on as the president at this point is, is, um, is not new. Um, so be, and I say that because I have a fair understanding about the challenges and I've been part of you know, um, I've contributed my own um, quota in working with the last EXCO. I'm therefore uh, in a position um, that is powered by insight, um, knowledge of what the challenges are, and then able to um, build on the good work that's been done um, in, in progressing um, the affairs of MIPAN and also um, the, the, the industry, the marketing communications industry um, as a whole. What is the current state of uh, MIPAN as an umbrella body of a major sectoral group in the Nigerian IMC industry? I think MIPAN, we, are, we played a big role um, up until now, um, over the past 12 years, um, leading scientific media planning in Nigeria, ensuring that the right data and technology is available to make informed decisions in terms of what stations or programs or content the consumers um, are watching, and therefore empowering media agencies and by extension the client in placing their media investment and making the right decisions in terms of their target audience and where their communications need to be at the right time in order to deliver their communications and marketing objectives. So MIPAN as a body um, actually led the establishment of, 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 uh, of this association of the, um, the company that set up you know, the tools that allow us to do that. And for, for us as MIPAN, we have also evaluated that to say, well, I mean, we've done well based on where we uh, were 12 years ago to now. But we do understand the, the fact that the media landscape has completely changed and evolved. The consumer continues to evolve over time. Um, technology is playing a bigger role in terms, of, um, in terms of media, in terms of consumption, in terms of the access that the consumers have into you know, um, a highly sophisticated media industry today. So we need to evolve from where we're coming from in providing the right kind of data that is more 
frequent, that is much more relevant, um, that the consumers or the respondents to this information, from a research standpoint, are able to respond you know, in shorter time. So previously we had, um, we, we working from a diary um, that is based on the 15, 15 minutes, okay, uh, 15 minutes uh, memory of the, of the respondents to the questions in terms of their media bits and media consumption. Um, but today, with, the, with mobile, with the power of mobile and the, um, the opportunity that that gives the consumer in order to explore various channels, various content um, spontaneously, we need a technology and a platform that allows us to, uh, to capture that um, in, a much more, uh, in a much more frequent manner. And so we're evolving into, into a technology, I mean, the desire is to evolve into a platform that allows us to do to do that. All right, then thank you very, very much for being our guest on the program. And that has been our package on industry conversation this week on Marketing Edge on TV. And we have been speaking with Femi Adelusi, the newly elected president of Media Independent Practitioners Association of Nigeria, MIPAN. My guest today is uh, Oti Ukubeije is a vastly experienced digital marketing professional with over nine years experience working across agency, brand, publisher, and marketing technology and sides of the industry. He has managed so many successful digital campaigns both in Nigeria and the UK and advanced senior management on global brands on digital marketing and digital transformation. Oti is also a communications consultant to the African Union in areas of youth engagement and digital interactions. You're welcome to Marketing Edge on TV again. Thank you very much for having <laughs> me again. All right then. So um, you're into digital marketing and advertising. What would be your assessment uh, of those two uh, sectors on the Nigerian economy? Oh, absolutely. The marketing um, communication sector definitely um, has had its gains in the Nigerian space and its impact on the Nigerian economy in several ways, um, uh, especially when we look at how uh, technology is playing a big role in that space now. Yeah. And if we see the impact of technology on uh, the Nigerian economy so far, you can sort of correlate that into the uh, benefits and impact of marketing driven by technology. Mm. Uh, and it it's has attracted a lot of foreign direct investments over the last couple of years. Okay. Uh, a lot of agencies are pouring funds into supporting uh, local agencies here in Nigeria. Partnerships have happened here and there. Mm. And then brands are also sort of expanding uh, spend in terms of marketing and appreciating the, the importance of digital. Okay. And I would say it's one of the fastest growing areas in terms of employment mm. uh, in Nigeria so far. So more and more people are getting into that space of practice. Um, digital marketers are definitely on the rise in terms of employ no employment numbers. Mm -hmm. okay. So definitely has an impact. Mm. So uh, let's quickly talk about COVID-19 and the new normal. Yeah. And what would you say, uh, um, what impact would you say COVID-19 has had on the digital marketing um, uh, sector? Um, is what I like to term a, a gift and a curse, right? In the sense that uh, the gift being that we've seen numbers shift mm -hmm. from um, traditional media uh, mediums of uh, content consumption mm -hmm. to digital. So that increases the addressable audience for uh, brands generally. Uh, I work at Opera. We see the numbers in terms of people getting onboarded onto the internet. Uh, penetration has deepened faster than ever this year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so when we add that, there's more people to talk to, uh, meaning there's more um, opportunities to talk to brands about shifting budgets online. So mm. it, it does have an impact positively, or it okay. has. Uh, on the other hand, uh, brands have generally shrunk spend. Uh, mm. In fact, some brands had to stop, pull out completely uh, this year due to various activities. So COVID-19 played a big role. And just when we thought it was over, we had the NSAS protest and all mm -hmm. that. So definitely the disruption this year has affected marketing budgets in general, uh, which in turn would affect digital that are still struggling to gain a good share of that budget. Mm. But um, some people believe that uh, the, the COVID-19, just as you said, was you know both a, a blessing and a curse. And there are indications uh, or rather assumptions that 
huge. As you said, we have a lot of people um, spend, advertising spend has reduced Trump, drastically, yeah. but we also have some people who have moved from the traditional um, advertising to digital space. So we have a lot more brands focusing more on digital marketing or advertising as against, you know, what we used to have. Alternative forms, yeah. Mm -hmm. So th wh when you look at it um, from that divide, yes, it has helped, but mm -hmm. it still doesn't change the fact that if, if I was going to spend 100% and 10% of that will come to digital, uh, if I cut it down to 50, 10% mm. means something different now. Even 15% okay. means something different yeah, now. Yeah. So when you look at it in the grand scheme of things, uh, it did have a uh, negative impact. Uh, okay. Yeah. We have been speaking with uh, Oti Okubeinje, uh, a, a vastly experienced digital marketing professional with over nine years experience working across agencies, brands, and also publisher, marketer, uh, uh, marketing technology side of the industry. Stay tuned, Marketing Edge continues shortly. This week we're speaking with Emmanuel Ajufo, President, Outdoor Advertising Association of Nigeria, OAAN. He's the Chief Executive Officer of Opportunity to See Limited, a frontline out of home advertising company with corporate office in Lagos. Welcome to the program, Mr. Ajufo. Thank you, madam. Now, how would you assess the Nigerian economy as it slips into another recession? Okay. Um, the economy, as we all know, cannot be better than it is. And that is because even before the COVID came, we were not doing too well. But of course, uh, because of the resilience of the Nigerian people, we've been trying to make do and better what we have. And so, um, of course, added to the COVID thing that came, we also had the NSAS thing, that uh, even though a positive thing, we also saw how it went. And so, we are going into a recession the second time, and we hope again that um, we fall back on the resilience of Nigerians to pull us out. This is not the first time that we are going into a recession. And the way we came out is the way we go, uh, came out the last time. We hope that we we'll get back very fast. We have been speaking with Emmanuel Ajifo on Industry Conversation, and he is the president of uh, Outdoor Advertisers Association of Nigeria, OAN, and of course is also the chief executive officer of Opportunity to See Limited, located in Lagos. Dear customer, link your Airtel number to your national identification number today. Here are easy ways you can do it. Dial star 121 star 1 hash on your Airtel line and follow the prompts on the screen. Type in your 11-digit government-approved NIN number. You will receive a confirmation message to confirm your entry. You can also visit www.airtel.com.ng forward slash NIN to link your phone number to your NIN. If you do not know your NIN, simply dial star 346 hash to get it. No stress, no wahala. Airtel, the smartphone network. While the city slept, we installed a board in the middle of a park with something special hidden inside. We wondered if people would notice. They didn't, so we invited Nigerians to add their paws to the scene whichever way they chose to. Some literally added their own paws. Some sang, others rapped, and even recited poetry. As they added their paws, the board came alive. Hidden figures broke free from obscurity, inspired by the crowd expressing themselves. You know you can't do anything. Because why blend in when you can stand out? TN Pauls, do you? Dial star 406 hash to join. It's insightful. It's exciting. It's enriching. It's Marketing Edge on TV, a half hour TV show on the business of brand management and the management of brand business. 
Marketing Edge on TV is a potpourri of juicy and exclusive industry news on brands, advertising, media, PR, branding focus, industry conversation, and the entire gamut of integrated marketing communications business. It's a business show with glamour and grandeur. We serve you hot and sizzling with all ingredients in the mix. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand ideal. And that has been our package this week on Marketing Edge on TV. Be sure to join us next week when we bring you another package. My name is Dele Agadumo.